Hi, welcome to my robotic channel, RoboCK. So today our topic is device net configuration in Fanuc robot. How we make device net communication with PLC. So let's start this video. So first of all, we have to focus on the field wiring. So we are having the Fanuc robot controller. As you can see, uh, this is the 30 IB Fanuc controller. So when we go inside, there is one device net card you are able to see this is the device net card here writing the name device net is the slave card and uh, it's a slave for plc so first of all we have to do the device net uh, wiring it's can high can low 0 and 24 volt so after doing the hard wiring so we have to do the some settings in our teach pen line so what are the these settings I will explain now. So now we start how we do the device net setting in our robot. So first of all you have to go to menu. By pressing the menu uh, here is one fifth number input output and there is the one option device net you are able to see the device net I make it enter and uh, this is the coming device list this is the device list slave board only so as you can see here by default rack number is 81 now its status is online by preview next you can make it offline so device net is offline our communication is break with PLC again you can able to make it online so now slave communication is going to be done so how we make the device net setting so for that you have to select here the details first you make it offline I make it offline generally it's come in this way so we go to select the details there are some details you are able to see from the first one this is the scanner type slave only motherboard fun slave and Mac ID this is the device net Mac ID generally uh, this is called the node ID so what uh, node ID you want to keep for this robot uh, it's uh, according to your network so we provide this uh, robot one number so you it's editable you can uh, edit from I, if I want to put the Mac ID two number that time I have to told the programmer or have to write in our network that's this robot having the Mac ID number two so I make it again one this is the baud rate so baud rate it's uh, when you going to be study the communication the to communication protocol for the device net it's necessary to define the baud rate it's a kbps per second so uh, having the option 125 250 kbps and 500 kb so whatever uh, you want to select you have to put uh, in a slave side or master side both network uh, baud rate must be same and uh, one option is there auto reset the board rate we keeping it off and uh, this is the input resume stack we make it zero rack number and slave status currently is online if uh, this is the slave error severity if there is some error comes then we have to put it a uh, stop or maybe you put it warning or maybe pause so if there is some uh, problem comes that time it's uh, stop the communication and uh, showing the alarm and here is the size of uh, output from the master so how many outputs uh, number of outputs you want to share with the master uh, so it's uh, you see here already is one, uh, 16 bytes so 16 bytes you can multiply 16 by 8 it's a uh, 128 outputs uh, be communicated by master same in the way size of the input to the master how many inputs you want to communicate with master it's also be 16 bytes and it means 128 input and 128 outputs so you are sharing with master size so in this way this configuration going to be done after that you go to the list again and here you are able to make the board online if all the settings to be good then it's going to be online there is not an issue 
so in this way we can you can see now it's the idle it's a communication is going to be done with plc from the robot side so this is the device name setting in fun robot thank you thanks for watching my video